Welcome to this session of uh, introduction to Python. Um, but the way we will do this um, study of Python, it will be a little bit different. But we will start from the basic. We will make our way up. But we are going to use a Python uh, script, uh, which is for a UDP, UDP scanner. So we are going to see a UDP scanner, which we are going to scan one of the vulnerable uh, operating system. Uh, don't worry, in the background, we might hear some noise. I'm, I'm doing this from the office, so we have got some switches and stuff uh, going in the background. So I, I, I hope uh, my uh, voice and you'll be able to, to hear everything. Now, I've got, I'm using um, this application, uh, which <clears throat> that's the name Mobile X Terminal. It's version 9.4. Now I've got two operating system here. So quickly going, the, this one is the uh, is, is my uh, Raspberry Pi. So I will show you the IP for that one. So that's the IP address I'm learning at, at dot 40, as you can see also on top here is, is, is shown. Now, we'll, we'll dive to the, the director where our Python files are. So do cd slash. So I'll, I'll increase a little bit the font so that you would be able to see So you clear some the screen there. So we list down what uh, files and folders we have got. So that's the directory we want. So dive into there. Then we list down to see uh, what folders we have got. So we have got uh, that folder, class one. So we we'll list it down again. Now, if you do wget and uh, which I've provided the path to download the code which we'll be using, which is in, in, in that one, you have to unzip it. But the one we are interested in is this uh, UDP client here. So let's take a look at it. So we'll do we are using a nano editor with Dutch C to give us the to count the number of the lines. So we'll do UDP client. We'll press enter. So this is the Python code which we want to run. Now, as you can see here, we are just putting import socket. The target host is 192.168.4, but then if I do this tab, this is the, uh, the, the this is the operating system which is vulnerable. So it's on 110.31. So we'll change that one in the script here. So we'll put target 110. And this one, 31. Now, let's also look at the port to see what kind of port we are going to send this UTP. So I don't know whether it has got the uh, um, 2222 as the port on the uh, vulnerable server. So what we'll do first is we'll do Control C, then Y to accept that we want to save it, then Enter. Then what we'll do, we'll do nmap. We don't want to, the nmap to ping. We want it to identify the operating system. And then we'll, we'll run at the speed of T, T4. And the IP address is 192.168.1. One ten dot thirty one. So we'll run that. So we'll wait for a little bit. 
in map as a start is we are running an older version which is 6.4.7 I believe the new one I think is at 7 so we'll wait for a little bit there we have now as you can see we don't have 2222 but we have got 2121 uh, which is CCP proxy FTP so we, we can we can try to send our UDP data to, to that port. We know it's open. So let's try to do, or we could use the telnet because the telnet is also open. But in this case, let's try this this one and see what kind of uh, results we we'll, we'll get in, which is 2121. So we'll do the tab. So it's 2121. So it's two one two one. So what we are sending to that client, uh, this socket uh, D gram is the UDP. Now we are sending three A's, two B's, and three C's, and then we want to receive the data there. So we'll do Control X. We are saving that is, and we say yes to agree to save and we'll do enter we'll clear the screen now I'll just do the tab here so the arrow key is the upward arrow key and then I'll change this one to python then we'll do enter now as you can see here we are not receiving any uh, feedback as we are sending the the A's and the B's and the C's to the to, to the victim. So what what we need to do here is we can do a TCP. So we we can create a TCP so that we can see if we can be able to see the traffic uh, to capture the UDP protocol as it is sent. So here we'll do control C to break. So we'll clear. Then we'll do I'll just do up or down, that's what we want. Then we'll pipe this into T TCP dump. Now in in proceeding this, what I'll do just the co commands we want I will explain. So after we do UDP client dot pi, we'll pipe the results into TCP dump. Then we want it to count only twenty packets then at the same time we wanted to use the interface WLAN0 but we have to find out if we are on WLAN01 uh, so to find that one what we'll do is we'll just copy all that Then we delete all that. We do I have config. So we are getting out using the Ethernet zero. So first, So it's Ethernet zero, so we'll clear the screen. Then we'll list. So we want Python. So it's UDP client. 
then you are piping this one into TCP dump now the TCP dump we will do uh, we are doing it at Ethernet so Ethernet zero then we want to capture UDP packets then we want to write this to the file name so put it on. and we want it to read in as a pickup file so the p pickup file proceed now I just want to make sure that the connection between the two computers are all right so what we we'll do is we we'll send a ping we we'll just send two packets to one nine two one six eight dot one one zero dot thirty one yeah we have good connection let's try the other way if we we are able to see dot forty so this ping one two dot one six eight one one zero dot forty. All the pings are working fine, so we have got good connection on there. Let's clear the screen. Now we'll do the UTP scan. So that's what we want to do so you do python udp tcp uh, tcp dump so you press enter then it will start uh, capturing and we are only interested in the udp so af because after a while here it doesn't show us the return so we just do control c there it has uh, it has captured 16 packets now because we did we couldn't get the reply pack that's why we have captured using tcp but we can also use the wireshark on another host machine so what what, what we we'll do for that for this one is we'll get the same tcp and we'll delete all that we'll leave it as it is <coughs> then because sometimes the report inside which we have selected if it is not good enough we can go and change that so for this one what we'll do is we'll, we'll change that also the port using nano now instead of put uh, we'll just put put 20, uh, 21 we we'll do control control x to save yes enter then we we'll do python udp client now before we do enter here we'll start wireshark first so that's wireshark is on and we are using the the Wi-Fi. So we have got a local connection there. Then we have got the Wi-Fi, which is 110.12. We can't use that Wi-Fi because it's say on 00. zero. So we we'll use that. Double click that. And as you can see, at the bottom here we are capturing packets. So what we we'll do here is we we'll we'll execute UTP dot client. So we have executed that one. So we'll go back to the UDP to look there. As you can see, we have got ICMP, but what we need is UDP. So we'll change this port. Uh, protocol so that it arranges in alphabetical order so we'll go down to look for UDP it's still downloading 
if we double click again it will change so we have got so it will change the alphabet order so as you can see here we don't we are not identifying any UDP So whilst it's still running, let's try. So we'll do control, control C to interrupt it. So ping. We send ICMP to just to prove that packets are still going why she can be able to capture that one i think here here i should have put let's put 10 so we send the pings there but we are not getting any response there so if we come back here we we'll see icmp let's look for icmp now if if we go back again you see we have got 100 total loss Now, if, if we go to the vulnerable operating system again, we can ping, we can ping from there, but let's see if we can ping. Now, this is very uh, one of the very peculiar things which happens once we send the UDP scan to the operating system which is the vulnerable operating system it seems to block anything and is losing all the packets whilst if we are in MSF uh, in vulnerable operating system we can still be able to ping or we we have a connection with the other computer so in in another video we'll further look at why when we send the UDP to a different port the whole computer blocks any connection that's a matter of for, for us to sit down and try to do a research and see whether we could use this phenomenon to our advantage. Because in actual sense, this could be the denial of service. So that's for, for today. So I thank you for viewing.